Hey guys, BT Sensei here. Hope you're enjoying your beautiful ass Wednesday morning as I sure am with all this energy coming back up to speed with me as I've been taking a huge nap and doing nothing, absolutely nothing for the past three days in a row. And that's because, well, I finally started my vacation as of last Wednesday and I haven't been really resting that much up until Sunday. Sunday was was when it really hit me when I figured out that, that I still did not have to work for any of the past two jobs. So honestly, it is a real vacation. Um, of course, back again, uh, just uploading more videos. I'm um, hoping you guys enjoy the other videos that were uploaded a couple days ago, you know, including Street Fighter. I think it was mostly Street Fighter V stuff. Um, and this upcoming stuff with uh, Anarchy Reigns, um, the Killer Instinct Wave 1 series figure review, and this one that is about to happen right now, which, by the way, huge shout outs to Lab Zero, Autumn Games and Hidden Variable for sending me this very early access of this amazing beta. That is called Skullgirls Closed Beta on mobile devices. Yes, Skullgirls is finally out on a closed beta for mobile devices and everything you ever loved and liked about Skullgirls will now become, will now become a game in your own cellular device. So, uh, with the shout out, I also wanted to attach an apology to those guys because I signed up for the beta about a month ago and they sent me a very, very nice invitation just to go check out the game in early access with the Google Play Store link. And uh, I did not check it out up until Oh boy, September 25th, so nearly a month, nearly a month, guys, I did not play this beta because I was not aware of it, and honestly, I thought I was a lesser person, um, I thought I was not classy enough to get into the early access of this beta, but foolish of me, I did not sign up with my main email account, I signed up with my secondary email account, that is mostly used on my uh, cell phone. So, again, huge apologies to those guys over there. Um, right now, I want to say what a great, fantastic job these guys have done in the game. And um, I actually do want to explain a couple things, but I will say easily right now, I'll easily say that Skullgirls is one of the best fighting games on the cellular device. No joke. People were scarce. People were, I would say people were scared. People had scarce information and judged everything by its book and said that this is just going to be a Mortal Kombat X clone in which you just kind of stand there, press a couple, hit the screen a couple times, maybe even three times just to get a link combo. That is not entirely the case here. Skullgirls plays just like the game, if not with a few little takeaways, um, in which I'll get here to a minute, but I'm just going to easily say that this is one of the best game, fighting games I have played on the device. Um, one, it looks great and it runs great but it may run great on other devices as I have a Samsung Galaxy S6. So the footage that you might be seeing right now is a little choppy, a little, uh, a little fidgety and a little stoppish. And uh, I ran into a bunch of, I ran into a couple problems I would say that had a big band, at least two big bands um, show up on show up on both ends of the screen and they would just shut down the whole entire frame rate. Maybe the game ran around five frames per second, but honestly, even if it's a closed beta, I think it might be just my phone that cannot handle it at the time. So, but yeah, um, game runs and looks great. 
I absolutely love playing this game. Um, as far as the many features, well, we get into this little tutorial section in which you play your first character, Peacock, and Peacock is reactivated by Valentine as a test of for brain drain and see if Peacock can take the skull girl down. Peacock is basically you. Uh, Peacock goes by a bronze card, and a bronze card meaning is meaning that there are multiple classes of each card, and we will have to get that here in a second. Um, so they show you the tutorial. You can do, you can do your generic button tapping mash combo. Um, you can also do. Uh, I think like a dash forward type of attack. But what really gets me is that you have to press up with both fingers while having, or well, I guess in order to do a grab, you have to put both fring press both fingers up on top of the touch screen, and then that's when you get to do a grab. You hold up on the touch screen, or you swipe up and hold it, and you get to do an air juggle, which is really awesome. And this game doesn't really force you to at least stay in the offensive position, like Mortal Kombat X, where you're supposed to take chip damage for everything that your opponent uh, give, gets at you. Uh, you do have a dash back option, so not only a forward dash with an attack, but also a back dash. And in some cases, some supers are long range, some supers are short range. And uh, for most of the short range supers, you can just easily backdash them without guarding and taking all that chip damage. Like in most games, maybe like, again, Injustice and Mortal Kombat X. Um, many options there. And of course, you can also equip the special moves. Any signature special moves that, uh, that comes with the character. And they're all very suspicious. Specific. They don't come with every single character. Uh, special moves get unlocked for each specific character and can only be, be equipped once. Uh, special moves don't work like they would in Skullgirls. Uh, another an, a thing I was going to talk about that doesn't run entirely like Skullgirls, but still works in a way it, since it's just a mobile or, or mobile fighting game. Uh, the special move can be used, but it has a cooldown timer. There's also blockbuster moves in which goes up each level. You got your level 1 blockbuster, level 2, and level 3. Level 3 meaning, I'm guessing that would be the climax blockbuster. Like a level 3 blockbuster, which is really nice. Um, so, a lot of crap. Um, a lot of the characters I saw here was mostly Peacock, Valentine, uh, El Liza, Philia, Cerebella, Painwheel, Parasol, and I believe that is it for now. Uh, most of the characters are very, I would say most of the characters are vague here, but they come in many editions, such as a bronze, silver, and gold tier, which you can unlock in the closed beta. VIA cheating. Now, they, uh, how to unlock stuff in the game, for, first and foremost, is these relics. You got all sorts of type of relics. Really cool looking ones, too. Um, you get a Marie looking relic in which unlocks um, bronze. It guarantees you a bronze tier character with a chance to win a silver one. There's a couple gold ones that um, get you at least a bunch of Theronite shards and a bunch of Canopy Kingdom coins. The Kingdom coins are used for upgrades. Um, I think mostly for upgrades to be honest. If yeah, if you get like a duplicate character in the game with a relic, you get their special like little icon or skill icon. You get about maybe one or five of those. You can use them to upgrade the skill tree in which they can lock more supers, do more damage, heal more if they're on the, uh, the sidelines when you tag them out. 
etc etc just a bunch of bonuses that are really really neat and also with just new supers in general based on which tier character you use um i will like i was saying most of the characters are very scarce they come in different tiers i saw no beowulf i saw no fuka uh there was also actually there was also peacock and big band uh, Big Ban you unlock in the second level, but I think that's all the characters you can unlock so far So so yeah, it's uh Peacock, Big Ban, Cerebello, Valentine, Philia, Parasol, Pain Wheel, and uh, Valentine, and Eliza, and that's all the characters for now. I wish they had Beowulf uh, Maybe they can even add more, maybe even add like a Robo Fortune um, squiggly and some characters that not, did not even appear in the real game maybe like Annie and a couple others that will be really really neat um, overall yeah the game runs through a very short story mode as of course this is just a beta test and they only go through four levels and the four levels does not take you all the way to the Skull Girl. It takes you all the way to the end of the Medici Mafia arc. So you'll be running around with a lot of familiar characters, including Parasol, Egrets, and Medici Mafia, and even Misfortune. Misfortune, surprisingly, even before she got chopped up and got that uh, little stone gem inside of her. Guys, I forgot what that stone gem was, but I know it makes her immortal. So it was really interesting that uh, just to see a misfortune uh, pop up in the Skull Girl's lore before she died. So really, really good stuff. Um, there's a versus mode. Um, not really a true online play like most mobile dev mobile fighting games are. Most of them are just like dummy plugs or CPUs. And uh, it's pretty obvious, too, because I did play a, a bunch of Arena, and Arena says dummy tester or dummy dummy plugin or something like that. There's just a bunch of dummy users that use different silver and gold tiers. And every time, I guess they run it through, like, uh, Marvel Champions, where every time you win and you get your rating up, you unlock exclusive rewards to get more relics and stuff. Um... By the time you see the gameplay, I already cheated and debugged the whole entire game and got all my gold, silver, and bronze cards. I did not get all the special moves, but since I'm missing some for Eliza and Parasol, I may just have to do the debug relic and go ahead and get all those special moves. Uh, regardless, yes, um, I was just talking about the relics. So the relics in this game are really, really cool. You get to unlock a bunch of them in the story mode as you progress. And you get to unlock a bunch the more you play in the quick play or arena uh, modes as far as Versus. Um, Versus has very s specific relics just prior to multiplayer. And they only unlock... I think they only unlock a certain silver tier character or shards or Canopy Kingdom coins as usual. But I'm pretty sure somewhere in those chances you can also unlock at least one silver tier character. Um, the more you progress in story mode as far as I know, which is very interesting because the way story mode, the way it handles itself is that you know how most you know how most of the stories in Skullgirls focused on the many main characters of Skullgirls. Somehow Philia encounters Valentine, Pain Wheel encounters Valentine, Valentine encounters Double, Double encounters Eliza, etc. etc. It's just all the main characters meet each other in the main prior of the main Skullgirls game. Well, in the mobile Skullgirls game. You don't really focus a whole lot on the main characters. You focus a whole lot on the side characters. And what I mean by the side characters, I mean the side characters as in... Gosh, I think the girl's name is Molly. Molly from the Black Egrets. You talk to a lot of the Black Egrets. You talk to a lot... You talk a lot to the Hammerhead 
uh, yeah, Hammerhead from, uh, from one of the, I think, Lab Zero guys, one of Peacock's friends. You also get to talk to, how should I say, you also, you also get to talk to Minetti at some point. You also get to talk to Miss Fortune before she died. It's just a lot of interesting things that are happening. And it's funny enough that I don't know when or where this takes place at all, or even if it's canon at some point, but talking to a lot of these side characters and Skullgirls is really neat as they didn't have enough spotlight compared to most of the main stories in Skullgirls. So it's really, really cool. And the way, this, the way the story mode goes is that it's a whole beat em up thing. You go in this little, like, I should say, like this little linear, not linear system, but like this little triangle system in which you get to choose which opponents you face and you get to move up higher and, and you get to move up or down depending on which path you choose, leaning out to the final boss and you get to pick your own fights. You get to have mysterious fights in which you don't know what the, what the teammate members you're facing against are. Uh, there's one, there's a, probably at least a boss, or not a boss fight, a huge fight where you get to fight one powerful top tier character. Or you have to do a challenge fight in which you have to do a one to three. And that one might have specific requirements in which you have to use a silver teal character, but it has to be either Philia or Pain Wheel. There's there's icons shown on the very bottom there. I uh, show you more gameplay of it, but yeah, challenge fights are really really interesting with that type of trope going on where you have to pick a certain tier character with a certain with a certain character shown on the bottom of the screen. So that's really nice. Um, Hopefully this beta is never ending. Um, closed beta is really, really nice. They've been doing some updates on it. Uh, I think the last update they did to that game is September 6th. So I'm kind of lucky that I still got the most recent update even if I didn't play the game when it very first came out, uh, let alone I didn't even play it for almost nearly a month. So yeah. Uh, Skullgirls mobile, mobile closed beta is just phenomenal. It is a phenomenal game. Uh, it's just uh, I've run into a few glitches that f I had to force out my I had to force my game to quit out because there's a couple glitches that I encountered, including one I might show on here or just might show on my main channel, or yeah, just might show on this main video or might show as a main upload. But basically. Um, somehow, I f did a m challenge match with just one silver tier Cerebella, and I was fighting against three team members, and I was getting so close to beating it with so little life. And as soon as I started blocking, I hit the super button at the same time, but then when the super happened, it quickly cut away, and I was still stuck in my block anima animation, and I was, in to I was totally invincible and could not do anything else after that. So I had to quit out of my game after, after such after such a uh, fatal flaw occurred to me. But regardless, it is a closed beta. Uh, bugs are bound to happen, and stuff will definitely change in the future. And yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog and my my first impressions on Skullgirls closed beta. And if you guys want to definitely join up on all the on all the beta craziness. I definitely recommend you guys to go sign up for the closed beta right now. Uh, I think it might be on their main website, www.hiddenvariable. And what you can do is just give them your email, first name, last name, and your uh, cellular device. That way they can make sure that it actually works with the cellular device. Not that I'm saying that they would test it, but you have to select the device in which the game will be capable of. So I was lucky to have the S Samsung Galaxy S6 to be compatible with this game, running with some frame rate issues. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I uh, hope you hope you guys love all the new videos that came out this week. I'll definitely try to be on as on as much as PlayStation as much as possible. Maybe I'll go back to Dead or Alive. I don't know. 
it's to be honest with you guys, I'm gonna try to at least get better at King of Fighters 14 and Street Fighter 5. So I might be focused on them, those games more compared to games that I actually just play almost every single day, such as Dead or Alive or Killer Instinct. So um, I did say I was a little rusty in Dead or Alive, but I think after nearly a month of just practicing on lobbies and rank, I think I should be pretty good right now. But I'll come back to it eventually, maybe next week or something like that. Um, again, I hope you guys stay safe. Hope you guys love the videos. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys.